with it. Hello, hello, hello. With it. January 25th, 2023. Sadly, you can't see it on Facebook. So. Yeah, Facebook seems to be uh, loading oddly. I don't know what's going on. If anybody else is having trouble out there in Facebook world. Not, stop. I asked, what's up? It's weird. All right. Bonjour. So, Bonjour, William. Uh, I heard we had a uh, lovely weekend. You had their open mic and jam, yeah. right? How was that? We weren't here. We do have some open mic stuff here. Kids were under the weather. So you can see the... Uh, oh, you did take pictures? Photos. Yep, we had uh, mm. some mm. nice open mic hard. people. Sarah, she did like a spoken word thing. Nice. He said, right. Tell him to stop. Rose. Tell him to stop what? I don't right. know. What? Did a bunch of songs. Great voice. What? What? Alia, she did the uke jam and then she uh, plays the guitar, sings, starting to write her own songs. Hasn't done them yet. Uh, William was here. That's not William. I know. That's how we William. We didn't get pictures of William, though, <laughs> did we? No, I didn't get any. That ain't William. William, did you get so a haircut? It was a nice turnout what? for the jam on the open mic. Oh, you didn't take any pictures of the jam? Uh, yeah, I did. No, I didn't get any pictures Rose? of the jam. Rose? Mom said something. William said Rose. Somebody's yep. name is Rose. Yeah, oh, that Rose. is right, Rose, yes. Yep. I Mom's remember that because I was like, oh, that's Allie's middle name. We had a whole conversation about it. That's probably the biggest benefit. <laughs> we didn't have it a sign-up sheet. People have to write their names. <laughs> that was Carl, the first one, yes. He bought a solid body collar from us and brought it out. Oh, Wait, can I tell nice. my? Can I do my stuff now? Yep. Okay. Sure. Take can I do away. my thing? Sure. Hey, William, recognize anything? Wait, I'm in, in the, the background, upper? Mom. It's oh your, yeah. It's your thing. You're in the background, barely in the screen. Hold on. That's your character trait, Mom. Okay. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Today is Liberty. So okay, I can't what? do my voice. <laughs> Speaking to the mic. You can't do your. Today, app. today is Liberty Shell. Shel shelfie. shelfie. What's a shelfie? Shelfie day. Shelfie day. Okay. Next up is National Library. Irish Coffee. Yeah, we said that already. I went through that already. Library. You're not listening. So. <laughs> Popo. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, um, next up is Irish Coffee Day. Irish Coffee Day? I had, I tried to do my Irish voice. Okay. <laughs> then National Opposite Day. I hate Opposite Day. Mom. Get it? Opposite? Can I get a hundred bucks? Yes. <laughs> my favorite. Your favorite what? Are my you the favorite, favorite child. Stop, go on. <laughs> okay, wow. Now time for my joke. Wait. Oh, wait, there's more. There's more down here. Okay. Um, wait, is this the same one? Today's the 25th, right? Yep, you got it. Okay, it's a little off because it's cut on the side. Okay. So, next up is National uh, Burns Supper Day. Burn Supper. Burn, burn it. Burn, burn Supper. Like, burn oh. your supper day. Oh. <laughs> Making it sound like it made my mom. No, like overcooked. Yeah, I know. <laughs> National Florida <laughs> Day. National Florida Day. No, because it's her name. <clears throat> National Florida Day, and now here is my joke. Uh, what? Hold on, drum roll. Here it is. Oh. He said... <laughs> here's my joke. Oh, <laughs> okay, here's a real joke. Here's a real joke, okay? Um... <clears throat> Why do we tell actors to break a leg? Why do we tell actors to break a leg? Because every play has a cast. Aha. Uh -huh. uh. <laughs> eh, wasn't as good as this one. Are you done with this? No, I have yeah, trivia. Yeah, yeah. My good chap, I have trivia. Here is my question for all of you at home. <laughs> Mm -hmm. How did Irish coffee come about? How did Irish coffee come about? Pip pip chilio. What? Was that the answer? No, I just <laughs> said pip pip chilio. <laughs> we do it later on. Yes, 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 I know. Jeez, right. mom, get with the program. Alrighty. 
We got all the Ernest Bergs in the house. I'm scared. Yeah, geez. And so, yeah. William Berta. I'll, I'll be back. <laughs> How many Ernest Bergs are too many Ernest Bergs? None. There's never too many Ernest Bergs. Uh, Randall, er hello. Kathy uh, Koob, good evening. How many Ernest Bergs can you fit in a chat? In a chat? <laughs> <laughs> so I had to look up. Today. I had to look up what library shelfie day was. So visit a library, find a shelf with some good reads, and take a shelfie. You can do this at a public library or even library at your home. Stack up books and snap away. I got a uh, newsletter today. So in my email feed of a Barnes & Noble made a big turnaround. The bookstore. What was it? What was the turnaround? Well, they had a new CEO. And some, and they're not selling discounts. They're not, like... They would usually take a lot of money from publishers to put to sell books, even if they were really bad. They would get the stores to really push it. Now they're having all these store employees. They're the ones that pick the books where they go, stuff like that. It's really good. This guy so wait, no there. discounts though? They're not having like their buy one get one hardback no, it says covers. Books are cheap enough as it is. Yep, and it's doing really well because they made the stores really nice. So do you still have to pay for your membership every year if you're not going to get a discount Barnes shopping there? Yes. I, I don't know. If they have you have that. to pay they like $25 a year or whatever yeah. for, but then you take advantage of an extra 10% off and stuff. You know what the moral of the story around. here is, folks? They save the stores, though. Don't shop at Barnes & Nobles. No, shop at, why? Or Go to your local bookstore. Book store. There's yeah. a really um, great yeah. bookstore in Phoenixville yep. called Reed's. But they're, they're trying to get it just like your local bookstore. Like book an store independent bookstore, yeah. Yeah, instead of big, giant, sell lots of books. Whether right. Whether they're any good or not. They're, um, so it sounds like they're trying to help the publishers yeah. and authors more than more the, uh. More authors than publishers. So the Reed's bookstore, their new books, and then we have in Boyertown, Book Nook. Book Nook, yeah. Which Tell really. Favorite place. I went years being yeah. very like, oh, I had to buy a new book. But now I just bought. Like six books for the price of one new book. It's crazy. Yeah, they're good. Yeah, because books aren't really read that much, you know. It's not that they're worn out. Yeah, some yeah. of her, she and Holly at the book nook make sure she has like good books. She doesn't like sell you like they smell moldy. She doesn't sell them or if they're torn up. She won't sell them. So I got a hardback for like five dollars when it's twenty seven ninety nine normally. Wow. I don't even think the spine was cracked. And you can turn in your old books. <laughs> Can't hear Kurt. You, turn in your own books and they give you a credit. Yes. I'm still working Where's on a credit from books? years ago. Yeah. Some one of Travis's clients gave us like 50 chapter books for a, like a little girl's horse pony series or something. I'm like, all right, Allie's not going to read these. So I get 50% off credit and then... That's cheap wow. enough as it is, yeah. Hey, Very Jim cool. Brady. Cool. Ugh, my screen's flickering. Yeah, too many videos going on. So this Overloading. Saturday, we will be closed. I think it's flickering, Reminder too. Reminder for everybody, if you're planning on visiting us, don't come Saturday. We'll be attending Marianne's funeral cool. service. Well, I have to reschedule a student or cancel one. Yes, I do, too. And All then... Right. William's on Facebook, yes. Yeah, I had a. Uh, he, I could do my 10 o'clock, right? Uh, maybe. I don't know what time it was. Uh, it was 11. What was I going to say? Don't forget uh, Allegheny Ukulele Soiree. Their early bird special is ending at the end of the month. Don't miss out. It's a really nice festival. Mm -hmm. They have hotel right there attached to the conference area. Vendors, concerts, open mic, whole shebang, restaurant right in the hotel. The uh, And then in May, we are moving our third Saturday jam to that Sunday, just for May. Because that will interfere with the ukulele harmonic convergence. Out in uh, Lancaster County, out in yes. Lancaster. It's pretty good. You usually get like 100 people or more out there for a day of just jamming and playing songs. Yeah. Each group leads a, like a half hour of sing-along kind of thing. It's in one book of everything. 
Where we go up there See, as a vendor. We need to own a bus. Because everybody yeah. could come to Boyertown, stay the weekend. We could chug our way up to Lancaster, over to over to Lancaster, right. come back for our jam open mic Sunday. Yeah, you don't yeah. have to go to festivals. You just take it with you on yeah, wheels. And make your own. <laughs> just stop at a bunch of places and make your own weekend festival. <laughs> that's cool. So. Oh, oh, and that's right. That May Sunday will be our sp annual spring picnic. That's why. So one reason why we're moving it, right? Buses can be rented. They could be, yes. That is a good idea. Yeah. Hmm. I wonder how many people would... Because parking in Lancaster... It's not the f most fun thing yeah, I've ever done. Yeah. <laughs> they have those parking meters where you can't, like, say if you go up to the coin one, you put in like ten coins, and it gets like halfway down. You can go in and put more coins in and get back up. Yeah. These you have to wait. There's like a real small window where all your time has to be done. Then you have to stand there and wait till just that certain time, and then so you can't go early and you can't go late. Or you get a ticket, because I got a ticket one year. Yeah, we did, darn. But I was out checking it, but I was just too hmm. early. Now we had a snow day here. Snow. Yeah, right? we can jam to and shovel. from. Yeah, we had to shovel all day. And our friends in Hawaii, they're still shoveling sunshine. <laughs> like, darn. Okay. 78. 78. It was 33 here. Sash. Rainy and snowy. Yes. So. What? Am I going to tell that answer the question sure what did you eat that was blue so i was out shoveling today and Ew. I, I borrowed today, today it's right above my shoulder here oh you borrowed william's, william's hat red hat so. to go outside yes <laughs> blue red hat william did yeah. you know that he left it here that would be an amazing yeah that hat. would be a good idea no, i didn't take that one i took a Kirk different Yeoman hat. would probably i do thought it. about taking that hat out but i didn't which Mom, hat? I'm having an existential crisis. Wait, I don't you did know wear the I hat out or not? No, I didn't. I was going to, but I wore it. Oh, you one. didn't wear it out. Yeah. I'm having what? an you don't know what you ate crisis. Blue? Guys, I'm having an existential crisis. Existential? I do not know what I ate today. Uh, all I remember is that I ate a Whopper and fries. But you don't know what was blue. Nothing okay. else. I think that's the only thing I ate today. Okay. Well, that a Slurpee or mouth something? says otherwise, yes. Candy Tootsie or? Roll or... Yeah. Oh, yeah, candy canes. Candy canes. I'm an idiot. Ah, uh, there you go. A few, this is how I sustained myself. A Whopper meal and candy canes. <laughs> and some mints. We were going to go grocery shopping, but it was right when it started to downpour rain, so I was like, ah. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> so, the question was... Wait, let me oh. quickly say what the question was again, my Hold good chap. So the question was, uh, how did Irish coffee come about? Oh, excuse TJ. you. Oh, I tried to quiet it. Okay. okay. This matters. Screen's flickering here. Sorry. No. Okay. Go ahead. <clears throat> how did Irish, Irish coffee? coffee was created in the winter of 1943 by Joe Sheridan, chef at Fiennes Port, near Limerick, Ireland. We have a Limerick here near us. About the same Limerick. So that's it. Nice. That's good stuff. Irish coffee. Good day, Let me my tell you, should I have to tell down. you about my Irish coffee uh, story. Just kidding. You probably all heard it before about the Colbertdale Railroad. Oh, yeah, the cost, right? If a waiter says to you, here, we made this by accident, do you want it? You think it's free. You would think it's free. You yeah. don't think you're getting like a $20 bill at the end of the trip. Yeah, make them pay for it. <sighs> my beef. It's my Never let it go. Never. <laughs> well, this will work. So, it sounds like we have some interest on the bus trip. Yeah, it sounds like something interesting to do. <clears throat> now, if you're a regular here... You've probably heard us talk quite a lot about humidity and instrument care. Yes. But it is a constant battle here in Northeast Pennsylvania. Because even just right in the office, since we started the stream, we've dropped f almost five degrees. Is it degrees in humidity? What's the uh, yes, range yeah, gauge? Like, what is that? 40%. Yeah, percent, percent. Percent. 
Duh. Relative humidity. Says I knew right that. There, little percent sign. I knew that because we always say keep it at 40%. But we <laughs> have two hydrometers in the store on both ends and two humidifiers. And we try to keep it between 40 and 50, and it's really hard. We, we get it up to 40. You have to fill it every day. Multiple times a day. 10, 20, 30 gallons of water every day. It's pretty cool. But you want to keep track of it. And a good way to learn all about humidity is on the learninukulele.com site. There's a Where ukulele else would you go slash for ukulele care. information. Yes. Humidity and temperature, control devices, links, talks all about it. Uh, gives you a list of manufacturers where you can get stuff. I got this. You can get uh, digital devices and put Which them in your here. case and we it'll have Bluetooth it to your. Uh, I have one. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It can be Bluetooth. But well, here's lots of information, a link on nice articles. A lot of guitar sites and manufacturers have information on uh, controlling the humidity. But you can do it right at your instrument, in your instrument, in the case. You can do the room, and you can do your whole house. And if you have, in the Northeast, if you have uh, forced air heat, your humidity is probably pretty low. Mom says you have to take turns with the mic. Hello, hello. <laughs> So we quite frequently show you the Bovita oh, I thought packs. this was a Rice Krispie treat. But we'll review our Diadaria Offering options. Sponges. So if you have acoustic guitar, you could drop that right into your the sound hole. And they have small ones are available in different places for uh, ukuleles. For ukuleles Louder. also. And it's just keeps the sponge wet. And then we have the hydrometer, or hydrometer, no D. I said a D, but there's no D. So that's like Kurt's big I have scale one. Up there, one. Look, see, right there on top of my computer. Oh, it says low percent. Yeah. So right it now little... it's low. It's uh, 82 degrees in here with the computers going. And it has little... relative humidity 45 percent. So that's pretty good. It has a little kickstand too on the back, yep. so you can. Just leave Set it, up. it up. Little coin battery operated. It's not the normal coin battery, but it's a little bigger one. And then this is the Bluetooth one where you put that in your case and it tells your phone if your instrument is low, which is very good if you have an expensive instrument you want to keep keep tabs on. The uh, Alberta William told me to tell you to practice your ukulele. <laughs> And we have combo pack for both of the meter and the thing there. And there's a ukulele one where you fill the inside. Whoops. Sponge. Here. It's not sponge. It's like gel beads. Yeah. Fill that with water. Drop it in the sound hole of your uke. And we have the bevitas still. Yes, the bevitas are the least maintenance option. So Drop it and forget it till it hardens. Just, yep, same technology as... Uh, cigar humidors. And the Bovitas are the only ones that are two-way, where it puts moisture in and takes moisture out. I don't know how they do it. Yes. Technology. It's like... So, care and maintenance of your... Actually, and we went 10 years of owning a music store, and we just learned this this year, that if you're using a hard shell case, you need to humidify your case without your instrument in it first. Because it's wood. And it'll compete with taking the moisture from your instrument to use it for the case. So you want to get that up to moisture, which makes sense now that I know that, but I never knew that. And then your fretboards, you will probably see first where it gets dry, right? Yep. Say that like the first sign of a... So we've always had like the fretboard lemon oil... This is neat because you got a little, little sponge on here. In. You just It's like a bingo dopper. <laughs> Still need a dabber. nice rack. Then you need a nice lint-free cloth to rub it off. Once you let it sit yep. in for a little bit and soak. And then we also, so first step, cleaner prep. Squirt this on your fretboard. And then we have a, does this have a sponge top? This probably yep. does. has the same lid, right? This is new. We never had step two because we would just use the lemon oil. But if you need a deep 
conditioner, you get Dunlop fretboard O2. What? This isn't lemon oil. What is this? This is... Doesn't say. Oh, doesn't. Mm. Squeeze applicator. I, uh, I think this is the one that says not on. If you have a maple fretboard, yeah, don't maple, use it on a maple fretboard. fretboard. You don't have to do. They're usually sealed. Makes sense. And then we have the polish for the body. Polish and cleaner, which don't know how that's two in one, but it is. They call it a dab Leave that up to the scientists. I really like the. Like, we have the lemon oil where it's like a squirt or a spray. Yeah. But I like the dabber. This is my favorite. And then I rub stuff. it in with my finger and get it. Robin, hey! Did my Are you once staying a year, warm up there uh, nor up north? My once a year cleaning of my koalau. Once a year? That's, yeah, that's a couple of years. But I did that. a condition this next Oh, you did? Good. You can tell. Right. You Polished the frets. Before and after. Yeah. Pretty nice, huh? Wow, you can really tell. Yeah, got rid of all the little finger marks. Still a little bit Jeez. in there. Jeez. So you can loosen your strings and like yeah, pull, it, pull them apart, but it's better if you just clean take it. them off and yeah. really get Because then you can get scrub. like the uh, Brillo kind of thing or the Scotch Guard and really get it done. Does it? Well, you wouldn't. Yeah, you wow. wouldn't do it with the strings on. How many ukes can you get? From the lemon oil bottle? A oh, lot. You, you like, said, we had one. <laughs> I think his mom made it funny. <laughs> called, uh, called Lizard Spit. And we the bottle's finally running out after about three or four years. But Mom's question. I read it and then I realized she's making fun of you. One time, I forget what happened. <laughs> mom needed lemon oil for something uh, non-instrument related. Yeah, you can't use and you <laughs> instrument lemon oil. You would have thought she took this six, Gold. six dollar bottle of lemon oil, dumped it out, and put it down the drain because he was like, "That's for my Fred Barnes." Now the biggest thing is <laughs> tools from my repair room, and this happens to every dad who has kids <laughs> and a wife. They don't really make it back to where they started at. She did. She used it in the repair room. No, she, she didn't even it take out. it out. No, <laughs> she said it's an expensive to use a couple of drops. She did. She used like. Not it's even gold. an ounce. Not even a quarter of an ounce of. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Cooking. <laughs> yeah, lemon oil. Oh. Yeah, God. you really can pretty much use any kind of lemon oil, but. No, <laughs> no it does not affect. I forget the what she was using it for. That's funny. That's funny. Yep. That's one. You're never gonna live that down. What's that? Never gonna live that one yeah, down. No, yep. Yep. <laughs> Never. Nope. We have to test the sound here. I'll test the what? Play this loud. Play what loud? I Why? Turned, it was the speaker. This was on the uh, monitor. Oh. All right. World headquarters here. So. So remember, check out learningukulele.com, especially the uh, core today. I added lots of new stuff to it. I added triads just the other day. And then there's a link to, I'm not showing it online, but movable forms and all kinds. Oh, wow. Really, like, really too much information. Yep. But the, the more you know, the better. And is that free on the, for the bronze or free? Uh, this one here, I think you have to be at least logged on. Yeah, uh, I don't think you have in. to be a gold member. But the core today is totally free. You should just do the top quarter of the day free, and then if they want the other information, they yeah. need to be a forever, like, or gold blur number. it out. Yeah. yeah. Well, people like free stuff nowadays. They do. Too much. That lady. But this is valuable information. Yes. This is like 30, 40 years of musical information working at this. Wait, Jim said does it affect the strings? If you get the... Lemon oil stuff on yeah, it, or you if you really don't do it clean it, doing I don't know what exactly is. Your it's something question. you do when you change the strings. It's hard to do when you're. Yeah, if they're on, on the like even if you move them and you get a little bit on, it does. It's like it'll yeah. stay on there. It'll be slippery. I I don't know if it like da it won't damage no. them, but it's better yeah. just. To, so. But it looks pretty. Makes your fretboard look nicer. And keeps it. 
Yep. It's like putting lotion on your skin in the winter. So. to dry out. How did the Hoovers make out down south? I don't. We haven't heard. I haven't heard from the Hoovers. Haven't been on the stream lately. Must be nice. They're out then, out and about. Yeah. I don't know. Not hold up she in the camper. She was posting songs right? and stuff lately. Was it bad There's weather Michael down Hoover south? right there. Oh, all that, all info. that for the cost of a Does dozen it, eggs. That's well, no, not, not nowadays. Yeah, not. It's pretty. If you want a high-end gift, go to the grocery store and get a couple dozen eggs. <laughs> That's what I heard. But not if you shop at Aldi. Yes. It's not an arm and a leg. All right. Lemon oil on your skin? If you, Mom, only on your fretboard. <laughs> yeah. Dad will not allow anything else. this to be used. Anything then for what it says mm -hmm. on here? New featured player. So it, this would work very well if you need to get a sticker off of an item. Just That's don't do it in front of Kurt, okay? Why? Because oh. you're wasting the precious lemon oil. I need a new bottle. I'm running out. We got snow. We got about an inch and a half of shovel. snow. It's slushy on the bottom. The heavy, it's heavy snow. snow, yes. It's not good, a lot, but it's, it's heavy. good snowman and snowball snow, I'm sure. Yes. TJ cleaned off my car, but he kept trying to uh, hit me with snowballs while he did uh, it. Yes, we have our famous uke player of the week. Yes. Which I don't know. If Ready? We play. <gasps> Tornado warning down there. This down week's south. famous Move. player, Pleasure, right. featured famous player, Bill Wynn. Uh, Yay! Funky Fretz Bill fan Wynn. favorite. Where's this at? Hold on. What are you looking for? Uh, going to show last oh, week's too. Oh, last week, yes. So this is a new segment yeah. of Funky Fred's TV. Right, yeah, last week was our uh, Ernest Burns. Merle and Friends. Nice shirt. We have new ones here. We're going to pick some people that we uh, watched the show. So never know. Next week you might be on. Never know who Everybody will pop up. Everybody gets to be famous. You'll be right there with your Fab Four. And then when you right. come, you should sign something on the yeah right. We should have studio a, uh, wall. Yeah, Funky like Fest TV right. fan wall. Yep, featured youth players. Nice. Cold here, sixty in Texas. Whew. True, man, that's a break out the winter coat. Yeah. Right. Jeez, 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 jeez. Alrighty, right. well, that is our show. Thank you for tuning in. Yes, two great players. Yes. Yep. Uh, uh, upcoming uh, events we'll that? have. What's that? You like had trouble getting that sentence out. What's that? Ten years ago, pictures. Ten years. Favorites. Funky Fets TV. So remember, be like our uh, favorite ukulele, Fab Four. They all played ukulele. I thought you were gonna mix sure. the famous, our featured famous person yeah. within the collage, and then yeah. you wouldn't have known. Oh like, no! Oh, they, wait a minute. They you, get a. They get their own slide. They get their own slide. Wow. Just so, like our number one feline and canine Funky Fretz TV fans, there's Toby the Busky Dog, who the first fan we got pictures of. There's a little gray yeah, four, watching four TV, a Hoover's cat. Friends, I gotta get their cat friends, names. Four legged furry friends of Funky yeah. Frets. So ask wow. Helen or Michael That's... Hoover what's the name of their cat is. It's right there is watching. Is that Midnight? No. I don't know. I forget. Wasn't one Midnight? I asked her before, I forget again now. And Suki right there in the middle. Every time I see it, I think the rug is part of Suki. Yeah. <laughs> like a right peacock, in. right? <laughs> All right, yeah, Hoover's. I'm glad you were yep. okay in the tornado warning, but that's yep. scary. Tune your uke. Yes. Can't have enough tuners. If you really want to have a good tuner and you don't want to lose it, pass it out, you get one of the uh, deuterios that you can just replace. <laughs> they give you two screws, a long and a short one. You just replace it on your uke, and it's stealth. People will think you're tuning by ear. You can tell our top ten take them out. favorite products that we talk about on Funky Frets because we yeah we use them ourselves. Very much constantly go back to the micro tuner. Yep. The Bovitas. Yes. The Pub Props. The Shaker Lilies. Lemon oil. <laughs> Get yourself one of these. I'm oh, really fiddling. Using these fiddle ones. I was doing one of these on the couch at home, and they like shot out of my hand and went behind the couch. <laughs> 
Ooh, mine. <laughs> there we go. Did you just get another one? Oh, I was going to say, I you had another take one. another one? You have two. Why do you have two? I have no idea. I couldn't find one. So he takes the... He's the biggest shoplifter <laughs> lifter here. Like no, they never leaves the store. Oh, so, so you're not stealing. Yeah. Ah, I got it. That's... that's one way around it. Yeah, a way to get around the shoplifting is, is just never leave. keep it at whatever store, you know, and just use it every time you go there. Because <laughs> oh, technically it's not until you leave, right? All right, so. Uh, yeah. Strings. Good night. We're going to do the slides what are you here. Doing the, again? the old totem pole. Yeah. So you're just Come in, going visit. back through the old. Yeah, yeah. So I have a whole set. You can get the custom tenor sh strings I use. The did wound you, ones will last you eight months or so. Did Rev get them before he went on his tour? I think so, yeah. He went to Brown County Uke Fest last weekend, yep. and then he's headed south. So to we stopped in Tennessee somewhere. Yes. So I'll keep track to. on Funky Fritz. Uh, festivals especially, they're all coming back. Got some new dates. I'll add them to the Funky Fretz, or the Learning Ukulele site. <laughs> We'll have our dates soon, probably. We're going to start planning and tying up all the loose ends for the Funky Fretz Uke Fest. Loose ends? Yeah, they're all we loose. Have every, yeah, it's totally loose throughout yeah, it's the... All, it's all loose. It's <laughs> so, from World Headquarters. From the Funky Fretz crew. Good night. See you next week. Yep. I see William's hat.